There are many legendary actors who have spread joy and happiness throughout their careers. Some of them were famous for their specific persona in films, like Charlie Chaplin, who was a legend, famous for his unique comedic style. John Wayne, another example, who solidified the concept of traditional cowboys and tough men in Hollywood. Like them, there is another big name who rose from humbling beginnings and dominated the industry with his masculinity. The man we are talking about is a legend who was prominent in establishing the world's longest running film franchise. This actor also attributes to make the world famous spy an icon to modern day cinema. Due to his irresistible blend of charm and grit, he was the kind of man women wanted and men wanted to be. Welcome to our channel The Film and today we are going to take you with us through the incredible life journey of Sir John Conrad. His unforgettable legacy in Hollywood as a tough guy with macho man traits and how he broke his mold and became a versatile actor. But before we start, don't forget to check our other videos of Sean Connery movies. And also don't forget to subscribe our channel for best infotainment and hit bell icon to stay updated with new amazing videos. He is the ultimate thief. He's the best. The law can't catch him. <laughs> it's never big enough. Born in Edinburgh, Scotland, he was born to poor parents on 25th August 1930 and named after his grandfather Thomas Conray. His parents were so poor at the time, they had to put an infant Conray in a drawer because they were not able to afford a crib for him. His father was a lorry driver, so Conray, despite being a bright student, has to leave his education and started odd jobs to support his family. His first job was to become a milkman in Edinburgh. After he turned 16, he joined Royal Navy in 1946 and was trained at Portsmouth to become the member of anti-craft crew but his luck struck him in a very strange way and he was dropped out from Navy on the medical grounds. After this, when Connery was just 19 years old, he was left with nothing so he turned into co-op and started doing odd jobs. He worked as a lorry driver, coffin polisher and as a lifeguard. Connery was a heavy tall man from start so it was natural that he was keen to build his body by weightlifting. He was also a avid fan of footballer and played for a local team. At a match, Matt Busby was a scout who was impressed by Connery's physique and power and offered him a chance to play for a Manchester United club. Although very tempted by this offer, Connery rejected this and chose to be an actor, which proved a good decision later in his life. At the age of 23, Connery was financially struggling, so to earn some extra money, he started to work backstage at King's Theatre in 1951, when during a weightlifting competition, he was told about auditions of South Pacific play and he auditioned for a minor role there. It was the first time when Connery discovered his talent of acting as Destiny played its role to bring him as a young talented actor. My name is Pussy Galore. And I remember him saying, do all fathers think their daughters are so beautiful? He never said that to me. You're playing both sides. This is called entrapment. No, actually, it's called blackmail. From 1953 to 1957, he was a theater actor and he was also performing as extra and minor roles in Hollywood. It was 1958 when he landed his first major role against Lana Turner in a British melodrama movie, Another Time, Another Place, 1958. After this, he gained some recognition from directors and producers and was able to secure for the film and TV roles from 1958 to 1962. His breakthrough role came in 1962 when he was chosen to play James Bond in first James Bond movie. It is interesting to know that Sir Ian Fleming, the creator and author of 007 books, was unhappy and opposed the idea of Conray being 007. But after the premiere of Dr. No, he became a fan of Conray and he even wrote letters to him praising his acting. It was his charisma and manliness which made him instant popular as 007 and sex symbol among his fans, especially for ladies. Conry played Bond from 1962 to 1967 and all his Bond movies were financial and critical hit. But being a successful actor at that time, Conry was not happy with his role of Bond because he had become synonymous with action. At this point of his career, he was considered a successful actor. 
But at the same time, he was labeled as an action hero who can perform only in action movies. That's why to get rid of this label, Sean quit from Bond franchise and started to accept more dramatic and diverse roles. Although this decision was quite difficult because from 1967 to 1986, his movies were not extraordinary or we can say those films were not successful as his Bond films. It was also the time of struggling for him as an actor, because he was slammed by critics in few films mainly because of his acting skills. But at least his luck comes handy and he starred in The Untouchables 1987 as a rough tough Irish cop who would not stop until he captures Al Capone. This film is still considered by many people as his career's best film due to his remarkable performance in this role. His authentic acting was much appreciated and he earned an Oscar for his role. That was the first time when he proved himself as an exceptional actor with serious acting skills and he also successfully broke his mold as an action hero of industry. His success was not limited to this only film. His further role was in Indiana Jones and Last Crusade 1989, where he delivered another brilliant performance as Indiana Jones' father. His subsequent super hit films include Hunt for Red October, The Rock and Entrapment. His last performance was in The Leagues of Extraordinary Men, which was a disappointment. After this film, the legend broke the hearts of his fans when he announced his retirement from industry. His last years were peaceful because he spent the last 10 years with his loved ones in his house. The world heard the news of his death on 31st October 2020 and people mourned for him. An extraordinary man who proved himself with his hard work and talent, it is no wonder the cinema will never have a legend like him. So guys, that was the life story of Sir Sean Connery. There's a lot to learn from his life and we hope everyone learns something positive from this video. Tell us in comments which is your best Connery memory. For more videos like this, do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon.